It's a very gory Christmas. In this day and age, why are some films still considered lost? Well, that's a frustrating question that remains unanswered and it really irks me knowing that all this rare or, you know, lost media is just sitting on some dude's hard drive somewhere. It keeps me up at night. So along with a very, very special guest. Hey guys, it's Vampire Mike from Sega CD Universe again. Thank you again to Staunch TV for putting me on. We will be talking about some obscure or lost Corey Haim movies. And while, you know, I was well aware of Corey Haim's ups and downs in La La Land, I honestly didn't know so much of his work has remained unseen, for whatever reasons. And while the films in question might not be high art or, you know, some missing gem or anything like that, I still felt they were worth a quick look over as, I hope, maybe, just maybe, someone out there in internet land can lend us a helping hand. Some films here I want to talk about aren't lost, so to speak, but some folks might not know about them as they are some obscure Corey Haim roles. For instance, did you know he auditioned for Robin, and although he didn't get the part, his Lost Boys partner and legend Joel Schumacher, rest in peace, was the director, so why not throw him in a quick cameo as one of those badass biker gang dudes? Can you imagine him as Robin, though? He would have killed it. And as we discussed in Corey Haim's top five worst films, he apparently is in the movie Wishmaster 2 in a silent, faceless role. <laughs> uh, yeah, that, that, that's a weird one. <clears throat> the main one is Shooter on the Side. You better just be careful, all right? You do still want me, don't you, Jack? Corey Haim, Shooter on the Side. I, myself, and friends of mine have searched for years for a legitimate copy of this movie and the only thing we found on the internet are VHS tapes. It looks like at one point somebody had taken the VHS tapes and maybe burnt them to discs and sold them online. Those are nowhere to be found. Nobody's uploaded any kind of footage from the movie. I, I almost thought it didn't exist but I do see VHS box art and covers and stuff online but there's really no like pictures or screens. There is a blog from a person that was an extra in the film who I think lived close to where they were filming and was sort of in the background, which is a pretty interesting read. But Shooter on the Side is just a movie that is so elusive to Corey Haim fans. I eventually contacted, I think it was the director, who is not a fan of the movie, on Twitter, and I asked him, do you have a copy of this? I would love to see it. I have friends who would love to see this. And he was like, no, I don't really keep copies of stuff like that. I don't have anything. I don't, I don't even know if I've seen it. I think that's what he said. So that was pretty disappointing. And it wouldn't be long until Hain took part in yet another seemingly lost film, a 1998 take on Merlin that was kind of overshadowed by the more popular version and by all the other ones that came out around the time. A trailer is online, but Hain's nowhere to be seen and I can't find the full version anywhere. However, if any of his lost films are out there, I feel like this one is. Somewhere. Help. It is just wrong that 2003's Without Malice isn't available for streaming anywhere. A real damn shame, as Haim is back in action in this film. It's so cool to see him in this high-paced thriller of this caliber, you know, even though it is a TV movie. I really, really feel like this one would do good nowadays. Come on, man, whoever owns this thing, give it a Blu-ray release or something. It's online, I mean, you can find it for sale on, on VHS and DVD, but it is pretty pricey. Finally, one of the ones that I found years ago that was like a kid opening a gift on Christmas, and I've touched upon this on my channel before, is Universal Groove. Universal Groove was very briefly uploaded by the director in parts on YouTube. And I was able to pull that down and I put it together and made a bootleg of all the parts kind of shoved together and it's a pretty cool movie. It's a drug movie, club movie about this group of friends doing drugs and kind of having these crazy adventures with this sort of mystical, moral over oversight to the film. But uh, it's a pretty good Corey Haim film and I was very excited years ago to find it. When I was a teenager, I was waiting and waiting for years for the movie to come out. And you know, when the internet was early, you didn't really know what was going on with these movies. So you never knew there was issues with this or issues with that or why the movie wasn't being released, but eventually, as I said, the director did put it out, and I was able to download that and um, 
watch that myself, so that was very exciting. I had found it on Daily Motion as well, so uh, you can watch it there if you haven't seen it yet. One of the final films that Corey was working on was The Dead Sea, which I, again, can't find anything about. There's another movie years later called The Dead Sea that came out. Totally different director, writer, and cast. I don't think it has anything to do with it. One is called Dead Sea, and one is called The Dead Sea. And the one Corey was supposed to be in looked like a horror movie on a boat. It looked pretty interesting. He didn't film any of his scenes. From what I'm aware of, he just has an in-memoriam credit in the credits listing. So, I'm looking to track that down too. That, that's crazy that no one has come across that movie, if it's even existed, though there are reviews online of it, so I assume, would assume it does. I found an article online stating that Haim was excited to be working on the Dead Sea. And, you know, he was gearing up for the shoot and even demanded a clean set. And he also worked on writing his own lines, apparently, but sadly, he passed before he was able to film anything. So as a tribute, the filmmakers added his name to the cast in memoriam on a lost film. Damn it. Corey Haim definitely has some pretty interesting under-the-radar releases or releases that maybe never were released that I would love to see. Shooter on the Side is the main one. But over the years, I've kind of given up hope because I've reached out to so many people and had other Corey Haim fans I've spoken to, and we just cannot find a thing. So... Thank you, Staunch, again for having me on. We'll keep trying to track down that shooter on the side. Maybe someone will rip a VHS copy and upload it. Thanks, guys, for watching. It's Vampire Mike. Be good. Haim would go on to end his career with some more obscure romps, but for the most part, these films are available somewhere. Although some should be altogether avoided. If you have any information on these supposed lost films, please let me know. I know they're out there somewhere. Damn it. Special thanks to Vampire Mike over at Sega CD Universe. Subscribe now.